I'm Johnny Scoville and this is Chase the Heat. It's pod season and I've got a beautiful pepper here. This is a mustard bomb. Tom Broom. Most mustard pods look like that. Alright, that's typically what most mustard pods look like. They're almost really greenish. I think it probably has to do with where, which side of the pepper the sun hits the most. I don't know. But if you look at that is a beautiful mustard. Now, mo most mustard pods don't get like that. This is an interesting pattern. I think when I've talked to Tom Broom, thank you, Tom Broom, um, I think a, a big part, here's the thing, people don't pick the pepper the right time. I think Tom and I have talked about it. You have a very small window to pick this pepper at the right time and send it, if you're gonna send it to somebody. And Tom's great at that, but what a gorgeous pepper. Got a close up with Robbie Vision. What a beautiful pepper, huh? And it's not past, I mean, it's beautiful shape. It just kind of looks that way. It's the mustard color. Absolutely incredible. All right, so what I'm going to do with this pepper is I'm going to cut it in half and I'm going to eat the green side first. And then I'm going to eat the mustard side and kind of compare the, uh, the flavor. I don't think I'm going to find much of a, there won't be any difference in heat. I can't, I can't imagine, but flavor, I, I, I am suspecting that it's going to be, ooh, wow, it's pretty. I've got to take a picture of this. Hang on, you guys. I apologize. Really, I do, but this is so cool looking. Look how beautiful the interior is. I'm gonna show you one half at a time. This is, here I'll show you the green half first. This is the part that's mostly green, but such a gorgeous interior. Look at that, creamy looking, thin walled, no really no placenta on this at all, the way I cut it. Actually, there really isn't much at all on this pot. Here is the mustard side. So just a teeny little placenta, an area where you're seeing seeds attached. Very thick vein. It runs up the entire length of the pot all the way to the tip of it. All right. And if you saw, if you looked on the green side, that was there as well. It's kind of masked over because of the way I cut the pot, but my mouth is watering. All right, so uh, this is the green portion of the mustard bomb. Thank you, Tom Broom. So excited for the peppers you sent me. Wait till you see them. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this is Chase D. In my mind, that's the way a mustard pod is supposed to taste like. A lot of mustard pods just sort of taste grassy, like a green pepper. That one doesn't taste like that. I'm not sure if there's even much of a change in flavor. That was sweet. That There was a sweetness to that. Such a good flavor. Here's the other half. Now, my, let me uh, give it just a second because my throat is starting to burn a little bit. Trying to think about heat, what I can compare it to. I would say the heat, um, boy, the flavor is so good on that. The heat is probably around a ghost pepper in that neighborhood. Here's the uh, mustard portion of it. What a beautiful color, huh? Just incredible.
I'll tell you, most mustard pods don't taste like mustard pods. I think that has a lot to do with when they're picked. But that has such a distinct taste. That pepper has such a distinct taste. What I'm going to do, hang on, I have an idea. I have one more. This one's not nearly as ripe. See, it's way green, and this is the lighter portion. I'm going to eat this, too, and compare the difference in flavor. Because even though I did uh, two halves, that half, those two halves came from the same pot. So I'm going to see what the difference is. There's the interior of this one. I'll bet you the flavor is going to be much better on the first one because it was more ripe. I hope there's some sweetness to this also. But here we go. That still tastes pretty good, but that's a, they are two different peppers. They really taste like two different peppers. So if you're growing these to use in a product, when you pick them, when you harvest them, super important. But so the flavor on that was more grassy. Still really good. But the first one, there was a sweetness to it. It was just really, really delicious. Now the heat on the set, the, the heat was no different, I don't think. No real discernible difference. I would say they're pretty close to the same heat. Around ghost pepper heat. So just think about you know, like eating a ghost pepper. That's kind of the same area as far as... Now the burn's a little different. Um, but not a whole lot. This doesn't have a violent in-your-face attack sort of burn where you eat it. It's immediately hot like a prima is. You eat this and it kind of has that... Almost has a ghost pepper build as well. What I mean by that, if you've never had a ghost pepper, they build sort of slowly. You'll eat it. And first you're like, ah, oh, it's not so bad. And then it starts to build and it keeps building and keeps building and keeps building. And it has legs. It wants to stick around. It doesn't go away real fast. That's a ghost pepper. This has a similar, has similar characteristics when how, with how it comes on and really how hot it is. Very, very nice pepper. Now, obviously, that said, I'd prefer the ones that are really ripened. So, again, if you're growing mustard bombs or mustard pods in general, when you pick them, is the, and the reason that there is such a vast difference, a huge difference between green and you pick, you pick them at the right time, the difference is huge. More, more noticeable than in chocolate pods, than in red pods, than in orange pods. It's super noticeable with mustard. So that's why it's really important if you're using it to, as a product that you keep an eye on them. Because in my head, I haven't grown them before. I've talked to Tom and other growers, but it seems like that your window of opportunity to pick them is small and you gotta know your, your plants, so. Anyhow, great pepper. If you're a non-chili head, think ghost pepper. It's super hot, you wouldn't enjoy it. If you're a chili head, again, ghost pepper heat. So this would be like a seven. Seven, I would say. Very, very tasty pepper. Thank you, Tom Broom, so much. In the description box, you're going to see a link for Tom Broom. Now, he doesn't sell these peppers, but he sells the seeds so you can grow the peppers. So uh, I'm not sure if he has any of these particular seeds available, but go to the description box, click the link. Tell him I sent you. Right there is the pepper. If you click the pepper, you're riding me. If you don't want to miss a video because spicy content's your jam, click the bell for notification. You'll see a drop box. Select all, but visit us a lot so you don't miss anything. Right there is the lifeboat, my brother Tommy's channel about um, having a victorious, happy life, having beaten addiction. It's a beautiful thing. It can happen. So if you or somebody you know, know has a, a substance abuse problem or any sort of addiction, please reach out. Check the boat out. Lurk. Just check it out. You'll be back. More videos there. I love you guys. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this was Chase the Heat.